Oh, I wish Jesus would come to me again and talk to me, explain what this means. Remember, I promised I am always with you. I am with you now, Philip. What is your question? Lord Jesus, thank you for hearing me. And even though I can't see you, I know you're with me. Lord, I've been reading in Genesis like you told me to do, and in the book of John, but in the front of my Bible here, there's what's called a Roman road to salvation. I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. In Romans 3.23, it says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And I think that means that everybody that's ever been born has done bad things. And, and they need you. And let's see, Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So even though we've done bad things, and those bad things cause us all to die one day, if we believe in you and your forgiveness, then we'll go to heaven. But, you know, I'm really curious about Romans 10, 9 and 10, because it says that if you believe with your heart that God has raised you from the dead, you'll be saved. So, I believe, Jesus, that you were raised from the dead. I believe, Lord, that, that you are God. Let me, let me turn there and read that to you exactly. I can't remember exactly how it goes. Let's see, Romans 10, 9 and 10. I didn't say it exactly right, and I want to make sure it's right, Lord, so I can make sure I'm getting this. So if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. For with the heart, man believes unto salvation and righteousness, and with the mouth, there is forgiveness. So, so Lord, I confess that you are Lord. I confess that you raised from the dead as God. And then Romans 13, I want to read that to you too. It says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So can it be that simple? I mean, can someone just ask you to forgive them forever and take control of their life and they'll go to heaven? I'll trust you, Lord. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross to pay the penalty for all the bad things I've done. And I ask you to take control of my life as my Lord. And Jesus, thank you. Thank you for forgiving me forever. Amen. Now, now Jesus, I, I said that prayer. And I just want to make sure that when I die, will I go to heaven to live with you forever? I already told you in Romans 10.13. Yes, Lord. You promised me, Romans 10, 13, that who, <laughs> whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. I praise you, Lord. I thank you for dying on the, on the cross for all my sins. I thank you, Lord, for how you have spoken to my heart from your word, the Bible, and helped me to receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for giving me a home in heaven. I love you, Philip. I always have. I always will. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. 